Hey, I'm Will with Noble Locksmith, and you're watching my YouTube channel, Car Key Wizard. I'm an automotive locksmith, and while I definitely don't know it all, I have learned some tricks along the way that I hope will help you while you're out in the field. One thing you can do to help me out, though, would be to subscribe to my channel. And if you like my videos, leave a comment or ask a question, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I make a lot of videos, so if there's something you'd like to learn more about or a video you'd like to see on a car we're working on, just let me know in the comments and I'll put it up as soon as I can. Thanks and I hope you enjoy watching my videos. Alright, we're working on a 2022 Toyota Sienna, adding a key, all the buttons, doors, or the hatch, sliding doors, all that. Um, this is going to be a rolling code car um, to where you have to get, it's going to give you three data lines, you have to get a rolling code. You need to get them from a third party. Uh, there's plenty of good vendors out there that will get it to you pretty quickly, but we have um, Toyota's dealer software, TIS, which is easier to do it myself. system so with these newer Toyotas that have the rolling code if it if the car lets you back up the emo data you don't need the rolling code so try that first um, I know this car is not going to so I'm just gonna go into add key and it's gonna make me do it Mission's already on Make sure that's the VIN because that's what's going to calculate the uh, data lines for you to get the rolling code, which is coming next. No, this is why I'm going to need the code. All right, so there's that. So what you want to do, take a picture of that. You're going to need that to put into TIS or to send to your um, your third party. Um, very important. You have to leave the car in the state that it is currently in while you're getting the code. So if you're working with a third party, it's a good idea either way. Put battery support on the vehicle, particularly if you're working with a third party because it could take, I don't know, 20 minutes, depending on what time it is during the day. It could take longer but you want to make sure that you keep power to the car and it stays with the ignition on or it's going to mess up your uh, your code and you're going to need to start over. So leave the car as it is, go get your code, come back, and I'll be back when I get my code here. So for, for those of you that do have TIS, here's what you do. Get yourself signed in. Go to TIS. You're going to go to Diagnostic. Add Remove Key. And then you got to put all this stuff in the software version. I just click whatever's in there. V vehicle VIN, you're going to put in your three lines of data. It's going to spit out your code. That's all you got to do. All right, I've got and entered my rolling code um, back in the car. And this is going to go just like every other Toyota add key. You're going to put their key to the start button, get a beep, put yours up, get two beeps, and you're done. Make sure, be very careful when you're entering all this stuff in, if you're doing this yourself. If you enter one of these letters or numbers wrong or whatever, there's a good chance it's still going to spit you out of code and then you're going to get in the car and it'll be wrong. You have to do it all over. It's, I've done it a couple times. It's rather annoying. All right, keep their key up to the button. One beep. New key. Come on, beep. There it is. And we're basically done. Learning succeeded. Turn the car off. Check my buttons. Oh yeah, that's a door slider. <laughs> Lock. Unlock. Slide one of these doors. Hold their key outside of the car. Start her up. And it is an EV, so you can't hear it start, but it's on. So that's, that's really... A, Five, ten minute job. If you have TIS, could take a little bit longer, but all, the hardest part really is getting that code. You might have to wait a little bit with the vendors, but we used to use them. They're very quick. It's no difference really. It's just a little bit quicker if you have TIS and 
saves you the time and allows you to do this at any time of the day or any day of the week and not have to wait for somebody to wake up depending on where they are where you are whatever but very easy basic toyota job just just got to get that code all right to add on to the tundra or the uh yeah we're gonna just do sienna so these toy 40 um these 80,000 code series keys these can be a pain to cut usually you got to be on the m2 clamp and you have to add some kind of a riser and through trial and error i found two strips of business card works but we found a cool new trick if you select toyota camry 15 and up whatever it is um and this is on the the condor machine it'll bring up the toyota four cut emergency key and you select that and it tells you to put it on the m1 clamp which is the edge cut key clamp instead of the other one where you got to put the risers you just pop it in there it lets you decode it and it cuts the new key um, without having to add the riser or any of that other stuff it's pretty cool i don't know how we figured this out but this is the best way if you've got one obviously um, decode it like this cut the new one you're good to go if you don't have a key to decode and you have to cut it by the code you, you got to go back to the m2 clamp with the risers but this is a pretty handy little trick. So this is how you do that if you have one.